you have three young guys to you know second year guys two redshirt freshmen in a, in a sophomore year position what uh, what are those guys showing you through two weeks of, of camp well you know n- number one they're they're big they're athletic uh they've, they've gained some strengths they've got here back uh, you know last september so it's just it's, it's very fun to work with them because they're eager they got great attitudes and they got pretty high motors i think pat said uh reeves and kerrigan are about 290 pounds now you think that's yeah, an accurate number? Well, okay, we're 289 to a carrier, it's 290. <laughs> but, yeah, they've, uh, they're have they both big people. And, um, and, of course, we play in big boy football league that you got to block big guys and the opponents. And they've done a nice job. They can really move their bodies for that size, which is uh, nice to have that position. Unique athletes in that regard that they can move? Well, they are. That, that I mean, uh, not that they're you know going to beat Carl Luce in the 100 meters, but uh, they still have very, very good functional speed for you know both 166, 167. And, you know, size does matter, so we're making use of their sizes on the edge. Where's the areas that Reeves has grown the most? I mean, I know you, I think Pat said last year at times, and maybe you did too, that maybe he could have played a year ago. But just to go from a guy who sat out to now sort of working with those first teamers. Yeah, you know, Charles is right on that line of, you know, probably could have played mm-hmm. and then we didn't. So, you know, obviously we held him. But he's, uh, you know, really, he comes out of high school as a big wide receiver that's you know transitioning obviously he still has receiver skills now but he's just transitioning to you know being more of an inline tight end and when he's got enough size and strength I mean, he's a big guy mm-hmm. I mean, he just locks on dudes he's strong he's thick but he's still you know he's a freshman so it's fun to watch his growth on a daily basis what about Tyler Sear what did he take away from his he had limited opportunities last year but how much did that benefit him to get on the field it did it? benefit I mean you can say I don't have the exact number of plays he was in he played some early but, you know, he finished really well in that Miami game, the last game of the season for us, and very competitive, you know, actually locked guys up, knocked guys around. So he kind of left the season with some confidence, and you know, he's kind of taken off, uh, you know, now of just still being kind of that gritty, tough dude that's, you know, kind of got that Western PA mentality. Is he doing, uh, or was he doing a little bit of that George Aston role too? Is he, that still he, something he's he, learning? He's a, he's a dual player for us. He's both, you know, that full back in the backfield and that tight end, you know, on the edge. And yet he's he's fast enough to be out on the edges and, and play in the, uh, the slots. As far as the numbers go, I mean, tight ends didn't put up huge stats last season. Obviously, you had quarterback issues that complicate things a little bit. But do you, would you expect more productivity out of those guys this season? Well, you know, of course, you're selfish. You know, I mean, you always want your guys to have every pass thrown to them and all that stuff. But you know, it's it's the team, the team, the team, and. You know, if, if they're running a route and the, the coverage rotates to them, the ball's going someplace else. So when the when the time arises and the ball is coming our way, we just got to make a play. And I think even today we caught some passes today. It was really nice to see some vertical plays down the field we were able to catch that, uh, you know, makes it fun for them. And, you know, they're eager to keep moving forward. And you're one of those four or five, uh, I guess, big skill guys, as Pat calls them, that are coming in in the fall that you're kind of ready to grab and pull over to oh, your sure. position. I, I'm, I'm sure, you know, it's all said and done, it'll have to be, you know, somebody. It's, it happens every year that, you know, kids mm-hmm. transition and, you know, based on your team needs, they all move along. But, uh, yeah, th- this, these these kids for, you know, eight days of practice have been, uh, have have progressed nicely, which is good to see. Now, have, are they there yet? No. But are they going that direction? Yes. They, I mean, they're young. Quarterback is young. You know, are you seeing them develop a rapport with Kenny and, oh, yeah. and him getting comfortable with them yeah. and vice versa? You know, you know, Ken, Kenny, Kenny, Kenny understands. Kenny knows. Kenny's got great, great leadership skills for a young guy, and and you know they follow Kenny. I mean, you know they 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 came together. They've all bonded well together. So that's uh, that's just part of the chemistry of your team that you you know build every day.